That is a toe tapper right there. That's country <laughs> singer Casey Lansdale with her music video, Sorry Ain't Enough. It's a very exciting time for Casey. She's opening up for Winona Judd tomorrow at the Canyon Club in Agora Hill. She also has a new music uh, album coming out soon. We want to welcome her. That is called Living in the Moment. Casey is here to talk all about it. Welcome, Casey. My goodness, so exciting. Thank you. I'm so excited to be here, mm -hmm. and I cannot believe I'm opening for Winona Judd. Isn't that amazing? I am such a fan. <laughs> and I love that song we're just playing. Like I said, such a toe tapper. I was hitting my knee with that. Thank you. You started writing your own music at seven years old. I have been writing for a long time, whether it was fiction or songwriting. Um, it's in my blood, so I, I knew that I was going to do something creative and you know, here I sit. <laughs> what do seven-year-olds write about, thinking back at, at that time in your life? The heartbreak <laughs> and all the struggles. My oatmeal was not warm. Um, just <laughs> honestly, anything that came to me and, and anything that rhymed and anything that felt exciting. It, it wasn't really a thought-out plan. It was just an urge, a drive that I knew mm -hmm. I had to put something down on paper. Your first album was Restless. You recorded with John Carter Cash. Huge. I mean, that's a huge step, huh? I every day I'm, I'm humbled and amazed because um, John Carter Cash is just an incredible producer and an incredible person. And to record in the Cash Cabin, where so much history has been made, it's just um, really a surreal experience. A little while ago, we we're just talking about the uh, '90s and women's vocals and country music. Here Absolutely. we are in 2016. It took you a while to get to this point. It wasn't a quick rise to fame. It's been a... Absolutely. Well, you know, we live in such a culture of overnight sensation and YouTube videos mm -hmm. and everything's on the internet. And I've been out humping it for a decade, you know, doing the tours, doing the radio tours, doing the shows. And um, I moved to Los Angeles recently, so it's exciting to know that I've put in the groundwork and I've been working hard and I've got the product to show for it. And it pays off. I love one of your favorite phrases is, my life is right on track. My life is right on track. <laughs> exactly how I imagined it. Actually, it's not at all how I imagined it. It's more amazing. And that's that's an incredible thing to be able to step mm -hmm. back and go, wow, music has brought me here. And I've been able to do all of these things, doing something that I love. And to the younger people, what advice do you have? Obviously, in your wow. case, is <laughs> stick with it, right? Yeah, I think if, if you know that you're not supposed to do anything else, then follow your dream. And if there's anything you love equal or more, do that instead. Mm -hmm. Now let's talk about your latest project. Your new album is coming out soon. I understand it's still untitled at this point? Um, it, the new EP is called Living in the Moment. Okay. And that should be out at the end of the month. So uh, it really reflects where I am at my life and how I want to take a step back and enjoy these moments that come, like the Winona Judge show, mm -hmm. rather than trying to get to it and you know get everything prepared. Really step back and go, wow, this is so cool. Nine-year-old Casey would have died if you'd said, guess what you're going to be doing? So it's really important, I think, to, to take that in all aspects of life. Who were some of your influences when you were a little girl in country uh, music? Winona Judd, Reba McIntyre, Martina McBride, Patsy Cline. Really women vocalists were, you know, where I cut my teeth on. Mm -hmm. And I understand you had a chance to meet uh, Reba McIntyre and you had a moment with her, is that <laughs> I right? I did. I had all these things that I wanted to tell her <laughs> from when I was a child. And instead I just went... <laughs> <laughs> and she was like, okay, you're going to be okay, you know. <laughs> you had the ugly cry with her, huh? I had the ugly cry. It was not my finest moment, but I will treasure it nonetheless. How exciting. And will fans be able to hear some of the material from your new album at the Absolutely. Concert? I'm going to be playing some off my previous album, Restless, and I'll have a couple off my new EP. And there's also um, clips of everything available on CaseyLansdale.com. Nice. How exciting. We're glad you're here in Los Angeles. Much luck to you. Again, Thank Casey you. is opening for Winona Judd tomorrow at the Canyon Club in Agoura Hills and tickets, folks, are still available. For more information about Casey, just go to our website, kcal9.com, and click Seen on TV. 